Let's edit Word documents on your iPhone for free. Now, if you're on your iPhone and someone sent you a Word document, but you wanted to edit it, maybe you wanted to fill in some of the forms or blank spaces and then send it out through an email or something like that, I'll show you the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, there are several different options that are free and a variety of different choices. Let's head into the App Store here. And the first one that you could download is Word. So Microsoft Word is the creator of Word files. However, on Microsoft Word, they a lot of times will gatekeep a lot of features and make you pay for them through a subscription. So you can open it up, you can download and install it, but ultimately they're gonna want you to get this Microsoft 365 subscription, basically to do a lot of different features. Another option that you could use as well is a completely free option is Google Docs. So just search for Google Docs. Again, this is Google's version of Microsoft Word, basically the same thing. It's completely free and it works really well. So of course you can always open up Word here and you can navigate through and basically bring in a Word file. But again, a lot of features are limited without paying for that subscription. So I would recommend just opening up Google Docs instead. Now, once you're in Google Docs, we're just gonna sign in to our account. And then from here, we can tap on the little plus button at the bottom right here and we can tap on new document. Now we can create a new document on here and start editing and all that stuff. But let's say you also wanted to bring in a file from here. You can tap on the little files icon at the top right here. And then you can choose to bring something in from your Google Drive or something that's shared with you. Let's say my drive here. And then I can just tap on an untitled document that I wanted to bring in. So by bringing in that file from your phone, your iPhone and your Google Drive into here, you can tap the little pencil and paper and you can start typing whatever you want. And there you're good to go. Now, another option as well is to just bring in something from the files app itself. So let's go over and go to the files app. Now here you can see I have a sample Word document. I can tap and hold on it. And then on here you can see a bunch of different options, but let's say I just want to hit share here. And I'm gonna share this with my Google Docs. So tap more here and Google Docs should be there on this list. And I'm gonna hit save to drive. Now I've saved this into here and I can open up this specific file. And the nice thing is, is from here, I can tap the little pencil at the bottom right, and I can immediately start editing this Word document directly on here. Now, keep in mind, after I'm done, I can do all the same things that I would normally do with a Word document. I can go back and I can tap and hold on it, or the three dots at the bottom right here, and I can tap on share, I can send a copy of it, copy the link, I can move this or print it, I can delete it. I have a bunch of different options in terms of controlling that specific Word document after I've edited it, if I want to do something again to it after that, either email or delete it, send a copy, share it, all that stuff. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.